when a narcissist has no money or anything to offer. Hello, my fantastic friends. Today, we're diving deep into the frightening world of the narcissistic scrub. You know the type they ooze charm and charisma, sweeping you off your feet with grandiose promises and proclamations of undying love. But beneath the sweet-talking exterior lurks a sinister parasite intent on bleeding you dry emotionally, financially, and spiritually. In this video, we'll explore what happens when the narcissistic leech has nothing left to take no money, no resources, no status to exploit. How do they continue to manipulate and extract narcissistic supply when they're down to their last nickel? I'm here to break down all their slimy tactics so you can spot these bottom feeders and stop them from latching onto you. Knowledge is power, so let's get educated and stay protected. If you are watching this video, it likely means you are deeply involved with a narcissist. You may be wondering what you are putting into the relationship versus what you are getting out of it, both emotionally and financially. I want to validate that confusion and concern. Narcissists often establish very uneven dynamics where they take much more than they give. I would recommend subscribing and watching my other video titled Narcissists Toxic Money Control Habits Hidden Financial Abuse Loan Debt Assets by Narcissistic To learn more about their unusual Your Money is My Money Patterns and other financial exploitation warning signs. The link is in the description below. Now, let's dive deeper into what happens when the narcissist is down to their last dime and has no more resources to offer you. Now let's explore when a narcissist has no money or anything to offer. The Art of Emotional Manipulation All right, folks, let's dive right into the bag of tricks these freeloaders use to keep their victims on the hook. Now, when a narcissist has no money or status, they can't rely on flashy gifts or the prestige of a powerful position to reel you in. Instead, they have one powerful weapon left in their arsenal, your own emotions. See, narcissists are master manipulators who know how to push your psychological buttons and exploit vulnerabilities like grief, loneliness, or low self-esteem. Here's some of their favorite mind games. Love bombing, they'll overwhelm you with constant flattery, adoration, and proclamations of soulmate status to get you emotionally invested fast. But it's all smoke and mirrors. Weaponizing intimacy, they use their physical intimacy to bond you to them quickly. But it's just another form of manipulation, not true connection. Manufacturing crises, they create drama out of thin air to keep you anxious and off balance, so you pour your energy into fixing them. Guilt trips, they make you feel guilty and responsible for their failures to keep you caring for them. See how it works? With no resources to offer, they exploit your emotions and hijack your empathy. Don't fall for the Oscar-worthy performances, it's all an act. See through the illusion, don't become their emotional hostage. Entitlement and Exploitation now that we've covered how scrubby narcissists use mind games, let's talk entitlement. Even when they have nothing to offer, these moochers still feel the world owes them. So they have no shame about exploiting loved ones for food, shelter, cash, whatever they need. Some examples, jobless Jed, an entitled narcissist who went to law school but refuses to take any job that's beneath him. He's been living in his girlfriend's apartment, rent-free for two years while she pays all the bills. Mooching Mona, a narcissistic freeloader who's never worked a day in her life, She's been bouncing from boyfriend to boyfriend, living off them for decades. Her latest victim seen has been paying her credit card debt and lavish shopping sprees just to prove his love. Deadbeat Darren, this narcissistic scrub racked up serious gambling debts and got evicted from his flat. He moved back in with his elderly parents but doesn't lift a finger around the house or contribute financially. He guilts them that they'd be lost without him. See the pattern here? Whether through exploitation or straight up entitlement, these narcissistic barnacles will bleed you dry to serve their needs. Don't let them fool you just because they're down on their luck, the selfishness, and lack of reciprocity is there regardless. When the gravy train derails. All right, so we've covered how broke narcissists manipulate and exploit. Now, what happens when their victims get wise and stop bankrolling the abuse? Well, the narcissist won't take losing their supply lying down. Here are some of the ways they react when the gravy train grinds to a halt. Love bombing overload, they'll pour on the praise and adoration. Times tend to manipulate you into staying. A classic Hoover maneuver. Rage attacks some will lash out in nasty tirades, threats, or even violence to intimidate you back into compliance. Smear campaigns hell hath no fury like a narcissist cut off from supply. They'll spread outrageous lies to destroy your reputation. Self-pity ploys they play the victim card hard, bemoaning their hard luck to make you feel guilty for abandoning them. Begging and bargaining, they please and make grand promises to change in hopes of conning you back into their grip. The narcissist's ego simply can't handle losing control and supply, so they pull out all stops to avoid being discarded first. Stay strong and keep your boundaries firm, folks. The Narcissist Bag of Dirty Tricks 
All right, folks, time to dive into the narcissistic nightcrawler's bag of dirty tricks. When these emotional vampires are down on their luck, they have no problem fighting dirty to keep their supply hooked. Here are some of their favorite schemes. Future Faking Fred. He'll promise you the moon and stars, spinning elaborate visions of the lavish lifestyle you'll have together someday. But it's all a smokescreen to string you along while he leeches off you now. Sob Story Sally, she weaponizes tales of woe from her traumatic past to justify her entitled behavior. But it's just a ploy for pity that masks her lack of empathy for others. Projection Paul, this narcissist spews venomous accusations, crucifying you for mistakes he's made himself. It's mental judo to obfuscate his flaws and make you the villain. As you can see, the narcissist playbook relies on illusion, deflection, and emotional sleight of hand. Learn their underhanded tactics and you can stop the manipulation in its tracks. When the narcissistic parasite is exposed, when the empathetic host finally wises up and withdraws supply, the cornered narcissist reveals their ugly true colors. Bereft of the doting admiration they feed on, their paper-thin ego ruptures like a balloon. Here's what happens when you cut off their supply. Tantrum Tammy, she rages like a petulant toddler, hurling vicious insults and vitriol. How dare you abandon her? Scorched Earth Sam, this narcissist, seeks to destroy what he can't control. He'll sabotage your reputation at work, turn friends against you, anything to watch you burn. Discard Deborah once you're no longer useful, you'll be abruptly discarded like yesterday's trash. She'll quit responding to calls and texts, erasing you from her life. Out of sight, out of mind. The narcissist's ego is so fragile, they lash out when denied. Be prepared for their backlash, but know you deserve so much better. Escape the narcissist's trap. If you're entangled with a narcissist, here are some tips to break free. Starve them, cut off supply, and don't react to provocation. Like a troll, they feed on attention. Set boundaries, build an emotional moat to protect your time, energy, and resources. Fortify it daily. Seek support, connect with others who validate your worth. Don't isolate. Know your triggers, get coaching to identify emotional vulnerabilities the narcissist exploits. Practice self-care focus inward on your needs. Fill your own cup. Be patient, expect setbacks as you untangle from their web. But progress will come. With knowledge, community, and compassion for yourself, you can break free from the narcissist's shackles. The sun will rise again, walk boldly toward it. Healing and moving forward. Whew, we've covered a lot of heavy stuff today. But now it's time for the good news. For anyone who's been exploited by an entitled manipulative scrub, there is hope. Recovery is totally possible with these steps. Get support. Connect with friends, family, therapists, support groups, anyone who validates your experiences and helps bolster your self-worth. You need that unconditional positive regard. Learn self-care. Treat yourself with compassion via nourishment, rest, enjoyable activities. Keep your cup filled in healthy ways. Set boundaries. Practice saying no and establishing firm limits to prevent future exploitation. Change patterns. Examine your role in past toxic dynamics. Seek new relationships based on reciprocity, respect, and authenticity. Do inner work. Develop self-awareness around vulnerabilities, triggers, and schemas that may attract manipulators. Get to know your authentic self. The narcissist wanted to keep you small and compliant. Now, reclaim your power. With courage, self-knowledge, and support, you can break the cycle for good. Your destiny is freedom. Claim it. Phew, we covered a lot of ground today exploring the shadowy world of the broke narcissist. Here are the key takeaways. With no resources, they rely on emotional manipulation and your empathy to exploit. Wise up to their gains. Their sense of entitlement has no limit. Don't bankroll the abuse or buy into their sob stories. Cut off supply and be prepared for backlash. But stand firm in your worth. There is light ahead. You deserve genuine connections. Now go build them. The parasitic narcissist needs a host. Don't let it be you. With vigilance and inner work, we can reclaim our power. Until next time, stay strong, my friends. I believe in you. The best is yet to come.